As you already know, Mocha is officially integrated in Filmora. And I'm not talking about the coffee. That means you can now apply tattoos on your skin, logos on any surface. And yes, I mean any surface. And besides that, you don't have to worry about subject or camera movement. So let's jump right in. Mocha offers two tools that do pretty much the same thing, which are planner tracking and power mesh. To put it simply, think planner tracking for all the flat surfaces like wall, screen replacement, street signs, and power mesh for all the deforming surfaces like clothes, skin, or even liquid. Let's start with planner tracking. Make sure you have the latest update of Filmora. Go to Effects, scroll down, and find the Boris Effects section. Here you can locate Mocha Filmora and install it. After that, restart the software in order to activate it. Great, now that all the boring stuff is out of the way, let's do the fun part. Bring a clip with a flat surface on your timeline. In this example, I'm gonna take the shot of the building and drag the mocha effect onto it. Then click on the clip, go to the effect setting in the top right corner and hit the launch mocha icon. A super intimidating window will pop up. Close the laptop immediately and just go home, okay? It's Was that funny? No. Don't worry, it's as simple as Filmora. I will walk you through it. You and me, I'll walk you, bro. I'll walk you. I got you. First, set your interface layout to classic and then scroll in your footage to the point when the surface is flat. Click on the expand tool over here and draw a dragging area on the building. Then add a planner surface by clicking on this icon and align it with the wall edges. After that, on the bottom left in the drag section, check perspective and start tracking backwards by clicking on the reverse tracking play icon. Once that's done, go back to the original point and drag the footage forward. Great, that was the hardest part. Now it's time to add the image to the wall. On the bottom left, switch to an insert tab. Go to insert clip, click on none and upload the desired image. Now the image is perfectly tracked to the wall, but if we scroll to the frontal view, you can see that the image looks a bit stretched, so let's adjust it. On the bottom left, switch to the Transform tab, and here you can play with the scale and the Y-axis scale to fix that. As a final step to blend the image better to the wall, let's switch to the Comb tab, change the blending mode to Multiply, and play with the opacity and gain until we are happy with how it looks. Perfect! Now let's save the file by clicking on this icon on the top left and exit Mocha. Once you're back in Filmora, you may notice that the image is not displaying. And that's okay. To display the effect, go to the effect settings and expand the model renders tab. Hit the render switch and now we see the result. Power Mesh. Okay, now we are entering some crazy VFX zone. But again, nothing to worry about. That's how we grow together, right? Perfect. For this example, I'm gonna drag in this clip with a very deforming hoodie. Just drag the mocha effect on it, launch it, and again, you will see that window that you are no longer afraid of. Just like with planner tracking, take the X pen tool and start outlining the tracking area, following by adding the planner surface and aligning it with the position of your subject. Then go to the Track tab and on the bottom left enable the Perspective and Mesh. Then you will see this weird spider web looking like mesh appear in your tracking area. But that's not what we want. Go to the Mesh Generation section and change the generation method from Automatic to Uniform. Then lower your mesh size. The lower the mesh size, the more tracking points you will have in your tracking area, but also the more CPU it will take to process everything. So find your sweet spot. I'm gonna go with 19 for this example, and then I'll hit Generate Mesh. Now you can see that we have a lot finer tracking grid, which will make the whole process more precise. Hit on the Tracking Play icon and wait until your tracking is complete. Then go back to the frame and insert the image you want. Great! Now just like with the planner tracking, go to the Transform tab and blend the image a bit better. I'm gonna adjust the size, change the blending mode to multiply, and play with the opacity and gain settings until I'm happy. But don't get married to this workflow. Each scene may require completely different settings. Let us know in the comments if you want us to cover blending modes in detail. But what you should get married to is always enabling grid warp and power mesh warp every time you're doing the power mesh tracking. This will make your image warp together with the surface you're tracking it to. Once you're done, save the project and close the mocha window. Go back to the model renders and switch the render icon. Now let's take a look at what we did.
Wow, look at you. A professional power mesh tracker. <laughs> they grow so fast. <laughs> Am I doing too much? Yeah. Uh, I'm personally fascinated that Filmora has integrated these advanced features. If you are too, let me know in the comments. As always, it's been a pleasure to walk you through hidden corners of Filmora. If you enjoyed the video, please consider to like and subscribe for more amazing content on the channel. Keep creating and I will see you on the next one.